What's up YouTube? Have you wondered what the alternatives are to a Fiend designer? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back, my name is Ben. I'm a media design educator. Today we're talking about the alternatives to Affine Designer. Now, if you don't know, Affine Designer is a vector drawing app. So it's very similar to Adobe Illustrator and it's very popular as an alternative to Adobe Illustrator because it has traditionally been a single purchase license. Now, I don't think it's any secret that I'm a big fan of Affine Designer. I love to use it, I use it all the time and I started using it way back when it got started like 10 years ago. And I've been creating videos on this channel for it for about eight years. So I'm a big fan of Affinity Designer. But if you saw my most recent video, something weird is going on with Affinity right now. We don't know what's going on, but you cannot purchase any of their apps right now. So I figured I would make this video to tell you what some of the alternatives are in case you need something that can do vector design right now. If you need to know more about what's going on with Affinity, check out my video here. So. There are a few apps out there. Now, one of the criteria for this is that they have to be single purchase license because if you're going to pay a subscription, you might as well go over to Adobe. Now, I didn't keep out anything that has a subscription as well as a single purchase license. As long as it had a single purchase license, I put it in here if it seemed like it was reasonable. Some of these I tested back when I did the Canon design series. Of course, they've been updated since then, so they're going to be probably better, more advanced than they were back when I did that series. But some of them I have a little bit of experience with, some of them I don't have any experience with, but let's go ahead and check out what they are. First up is Amadine. Now, Amadine is an app that is only for Mac, iPhone, and iPad. So if you aren't in the Apple ecosystem, this one's not going to work for you. If you are though, this seems like a good option. Now you can subscribe to it for like $2.99 a month, but we're really here to look at the single purchase license, which is $29.99. So you can get a single purchase license that's keep this software forever for $29.99. That's Amadine. And when I looked at it before, it was a pretty good vector editor, and I've heard that it's improved since. So go ahead and check Amadine out if you're looking for a pretty cheap alternative that can do some of the basics of vector design. Next up is an app called Vector Styler. It's available for Mac or Windows, and when you purchase the license, you get both so long as you don't buy it through the Mac App Store. If you buy through the Mac App Store, then you only have it for Mac. And it costs about $5 more through the Mac App Store. That's probably to pay Apple's 30% tax. So I would go ahead and just purchase this from Vector Styler directly if you're going to do it. That's going to cost you $95. $95 will get you this app and that is a single purchase license and they guarantee upgrades until they release version two. So that's very similar to how Affinity's model has been working in the past. $95 is not that bad for a full vector editor, but I would go ahead and get the free trial first to check it out and see if it works for you. I remember when I checked this out that it worked pretty well. The thing that it was lacking over Affinity Designer was of course the ecosystem of Affinity Photo and Affinity Publisher. So it doesn't have that, but it may be what you need if you're looking just to do some vector editing. The third one I wanna talk about is owned by Apple now. It's called Pixelmator Pro. This app has been around for a long time and it's primarily been kind of a Photoshop competitor, you know, working with rasters, but they have a bunch of vector stuff in it now. Now I have not used this, but I do like their competitor to Lightroom. I do like that one quite a bit. So this one might be good. It costs $49.99 in the App Store. So $50 single purchase license. It is from Apple now, so of course it's only available on Mac. And like I said, I don't know a lot about it, but it seems to have some at least basic vector editing abilities. And of course you'd also be getting the raster editing abilities, which was one of the nice things about Affinity Designer was that it had that pixel persona where you could go in and edit the photos. Lastly, I wanna talk about kind of the big one. The big one is called Inkscape. Now, Inkscape has been around for a long time and a lot of people have used it to great effect for a long time. The thing to note about it is that it is open source. Because it's open source, it's available to most places. It's available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. This is the only one on this list that is available on Linux. So you'll wanna go ahead and make sure that you check that out, especially if you are a Linux user. Inkscape is free, so what's the catch? Why isn't this just what we recommend to everybody? Well, it's open source, which means it is more difficult to learn. The user interface, not all that friendly. If you're pretty familiar already with vectors, you can hop into Inkscape and you can probably figure out what's going on and figure out how to use it. Also, there are some great tutorials out there by people like Logos by Nick here on YouTube. So you can check out that and you can learn along the way, but it is more difficult than a lot of these paid for apps. However, it is free and it's not suddenly going to turn around and go subscription or something like that. Now I know some of you are thinking, Ben, why are you creating this video? We don't know what's happening to a fiend designer. And that's true, we don't. But right now, if you need something, 
you can't get it. And there's been a bunch of people commenting my video saying they were about to buy Affinity products, but they couldn't. And so now they're kind of just like stuck. So I'm making this video so people know what's out there as an alternative if they need it. Okay, that's going to do it for us today. If I missed any, please go ahead and drop those in the comments down below. I wanna know what your vector app of choice is that's not Illustrator or Affinity Designer. So we'll chat in the comments and I will see you on the next video.